Hi everyone! So, it's not the best looking day, so I don't have as much lighting as possible, because I still have a good chunk of books down there on the floor in front of the other curtain. But, as you can see, this is a, uh, a haul video. It is, it's a haul slash monthly unboxing. So, like, I've got, it's like a three, it's a three in one today. As I said, it's a monthly unboxing and a mini haul. Like, literally, I only purchased one thing today. Like, there was something that I wanted, but some of those things could wait to be purchased. And so, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know, whatever. So, if you don't know my system by now, uh, I went to the library today. It's, it's Monday. I always go there to the library. And as I told, I believe in the last video, I had a book uh, on hold. So, this is my personal book. This will be put on hold. I may or may not finish the chapter or finish it to a break tonight, but this is being on pause. I'm still I'm a little over a third of the way through. And the book I'm reading is Whispering Rock by Robin Carr. And this is book three. I only just started it. I only just literally started chapter one. So, like, I'm only, I don't know, I'm a few pages in. And so, uh, let, I'm gonna read the back. And they've totally stickered over some stuff that's written here, but it says, like, welcome back, something, 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 with the books that started it all, or something, I don't know. But let's read the back. Virgin River has sheltered more than a few lost souls, lost souls over the years, and there's always room for more. Virgin River became a safe haven for Sacramento prosecutor Bree Sheridan after she nearly lost her life at the hands of a crazed criminal. Though she still has fears she can't escape, she also has someone who wants to show her just what it means to trust again. A decorated marine reservist, LAPD officer Mike Valenzuela, I might not be pronouncing it right, but it's spelt V A L E N. Z or Z, however you want to pronounce it, I've pronounced it Z. U E L A was badly wounded in the line of duty. Twice divorced, he secretly longs for the kind of commitment and happiness his marine buddies have found. A woman who can tie up his heart forever. Mike will do anything to help Bree free herself from painful memories. Passionate, strong, and gentle, he vows to give back to her what she's so selfless. She's so selflessly, that's three S's in a row, given him her heart, and with it, a new beginning. And yeah, that's all that's for this. So I just started it. I knew, I knew these two was going to, were going to end up together. I thought they were going to end up together in the last book because they were featured in that and, um, you know, they, something happened there. They had like a little, excuse me, it was supposed to be just a friend going out for lunch trying to get away from uh, Bree, get away from her brother, Mike, get away from his friend. Like he was staying at that, his friend's house and his friend and his wife wanted to get some sexing on because they haven't done in a while and like, you know, sometime like his wife was pregnant, like Mel was pregnant in book two. You know, if you pregnant women know, if any pregnant women watch this, um, you would know that sometimes you get, like, really extremely strong sexual urges. And sometimes with guys, they find their wives even more sexually alluring when they're pregnant. So, uh, they want to have sex. But, yeah. So they, Mel, Mike, and Brie, uh, go busy themselves so that Jack and Mel can have a few hours at the cabin to have sex and get uh, all their most of their sexual frustration out. So that's kind of where it started and so this is where it's going to finish. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to like it. I might end up liking it. I have no idea. But we shall see because I only just started it. I'm not even at a point where I can say like, oh my god, I totally love it like I did like the first two chapters of Shelter Mountain. After the first two chapters of that, I totally was like hooked onto it. As you guys know, I loved it so much. And like each time I, like the first time I showed it to you, the second time I showed you, it was like, I was almost like giving you a review on that book. It was like, that's a bad thing to do. So I'm glad I caught this in time. 
I gotta turn it off. It's getting a little cold in my room. That I caught this in time before I totally had, like, was telling you an early review on this. So, that. This Next is my little haul. I went to Walmart. I had to take back a coach's costume because it was a large. I figured it would fit her, and especially with, like, fitting the Velcro underneath. But the Velcro strips, they met just like this. Like, and both ends meeting like this. So, like, that totally sucked. So I had to return it. And that was a large. So apparently she is an extra large. And uh, Kayla's t-shirt that I got her, it fits her, but... Like, it fits her perfect in the neck and in the arms. It's a little bit snug in the chest, but she hasn't gotten a haircut, and Manny says, like, that's kind of where, like, the bulkiness is coming from. But I think if I do get her anything else, I probably will have, will get her a medium, because I just bought her a small. But anyway, this is what I bought. Uh, it is two towels for five forty-seven. This is just a white one with some leaves on it. And then the one underneath is just, like, a... A, a rustic orange, rustic, rusty brown. And I'm a little sad that there's only two of them, but there was another pack that I could have gotten, but it wasn't as not, it wasn't as good of material as this is. And this is just like straight Walmart pack. Uh, it's a hundred per Terry, a hundred percent cotton, exclusive of trimming. Waffle, a hundred percent cotton. So like this trim here, and I'm guessing this is waffle. That's what they call it. This is just to go to be. I have a. I have three Halloween towels that I eat like for dish towels for drying dishes. I have three of them, um, but I didn't have anything for fall. So like this is like kind of like my starting my fall collection of stuff. And then I got my Walmart order, and this is heavier than. It feels heavier than usual. We're going to get into this unboxing. Okay. I should have had, like, I think I bought some liquid stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. I may or may not. I know I did, because I should have my, uh, my leave-in conditioner stuff in here, so. I But it doesn't have a sticker of, like, there's liquid in here and such. There's no sticker that says I have liquid in here. I don't know why, but hopefully everything is in here. Liquid. I got four liquid things, so I don't know why they didn't put the liquid sticker on there. But anyway, the first thing I'm pulling out is the Tampax Pearl Plastic uh, Super Absorbency with a built-in backup braid. You just, you know, this is the 18-pack. I buy these because, yeah, I want to make sure I have enough because sometimes, like, you never know how many you are going to use during your period. I have a five-day, I have a five-day cycle where for, like, the first two to three days I am heavy and then... The rest are like a light, but I always get the super just so like I can... I'm I'm lazy, that's the point. That's just the thing. The next thing is something new and it's open. Okay, how many am I supposed to get? Tw I'm supposed to get 12 in here. Let's just make sure I have 12 in here. Ah! Give me. Okay, I do have 12 in here. Good. I don't know why it's open. So. But anyway, these are the Vagisil... Gentle and Calming Feminine Wipes. Cleanses, soothes, and freshens. Odor controlling protection and soothes feminine itching due to dryness. Let's see, this is, I bought the, um, the gel, like the, what you would use in the shower, but I don't know. I'm getting, I need to be able to do it, like, when I'm not in the shower, because, like, it gets annoying. Plus, you can, apparently, like, you can use this as, like, you know, toilet paper. Like, if you're, if you, like, have, like, have the, some of these in, uh, like, your emergency, um, feminine kit. Ugh, I need to do my nails. They're so, anyway. Um, in the, in your feminine kit, and you go to the bathroom somewhere, it's like, they have, there's no toilet paper. But you have these. These will work. Because there, it's, it's almost like having, like, a wipes on you. You can use it like that. Uh. 
cleanses and freshens, soothes itchy due to dryness, unique odor control and protection that actually keeps odor from happening, infused with skin soothing and antibacterial ingredients for external use only. And as I said, there are 12 individually wrapped disposable wipes. And they just come like this. <laughs> Directions. Unfold towel and gently pat or wipe external vag vaginal area from front to back. Use each towelette only once and then throw away. Uh, I don't... It doesn't say, like, what the ingredients are. I can't... Oh, there they are. It's on the bottom of the box. But anyway, th this is a new thing for me. I'm hoping it'll work. It should work, because oh, I guess technically the wash is working, but it's just, I, it's just like a pH balance thing. Whereas this will calm my itchiness that I sometimes get, you know, as it says from drying and like, you know, some kind of, sometimes I have like a, like brown bleeding for those of you who happen, that happens to, it's just dry blood. Like some almost like pinprick of a thing happened inside you and it's bleeding, but it's not like a heavy amount. So it's just bleeds a little bit. And then once you have your discharge, it comes out as like a little brownish. And that's, you know, just old dry blood, but it's, it's not, it's not dry, but it's dry. That's part of what that is for. The next thing is my new razor. It is the Chic Hydro Silk Sensitive Care Five Curve Sensing Blades. Uh, gives back moisturizer. Dermatology, dermatologist tested. Yes. And this is, um, you can change the head. So like, I like that. Yes, so this is what I bought. Because apparently Chic, like even, uh, like according to like, kind of like Pink Sparkle, she uses a Chic one. It shaves really well. And like she doesn't have to shave till like for a few showers. I don't want to have to keep, since being my boyfriend, I think I've told you like I have to shave like nearly every shower my legs. Well, at least my calves area. Keep having to shave that. And Manny uses the men's Chic. This is the women's. And he says the it um it shaves so close on his head, so I'm gonna try it too on my legs and my pit. It comes with the handle, uh, two heads I think. Uh oh yeah, just the head here and then an extra one and then apparently a s wall suction thing. I don't know, but if you're uh kind of like going tight on your purse and such. This costs less than the Gillette. Like, I'm serious. Like, even the, um, the refill packs, those are less expensive than the Gillette. I'm sorry, Gillette. I do really, I do like you, but Chic costs less than me. I'm sorry. I need to be concentrating on saving my money. And, like, if you want to save money too, like, try Chic. And, like, Chic doesn't just have sensitive care. It has, I think, two other ones as well. But it's the one I bought. I think it was like on discount, disc like discounted from its even regular price. So, but pretty much all of their changeable heads stuff like this are pretty much around the same price. Like if you bought this, like what I have, it's about with tax about ten-ish bucks. And then the last is in this bag, which probably contains all of the liquid stuff. It is my Garnier Fructus Triple Nutrition Double Care Leaf in Conditioner for Dry Damaged Hair. And it's made with fruit oils, detangles for hair that is silky without way down. I love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. It ha it's a two-part uh, leave-in conditioner. It nutrition's and repairs. There's nourishing milk that nourishes and detangles hair without weighing it down plus a shine serum enriched with fruit oils that penetrates each layer of the hair, repairs and softens hair. I love this so much. I forgot to 
maybe I forgot to purchase it last month or something, but it's like, ugh. I need to purchase this like every month or... I am definitely putting this on my on it again for next month, but I think this is something that I have to purchase every month or something along those lines. Because like, I used this up. I used this up pretty well. I love, and I love this so much. So that is definitely getting put on my shopping list for next month because I need it. I need it badly. Like my hair needs it badly. It loves it so much. And I love what it does to my hair. It makes my hair like perfect. Yes, my hair is a little weird right now, but it's shower night. Shower day, so whatever. I got my mouthwash. This is the Crest Pro Health Multi Protection Alcohol Free Mouthwash in Refreshing Clean Mint. And this is the 250 milliliter. I said I once I move out of here, I will get the larger bottle so that I don't have to keep buying this like probably once a month. Next thing is the Sally Hansen Sally Hansen Cuticle Oil Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil helps nourish nails and cuticles. Help strengthen nails. What it is, an intensely moisturizing vitamin E oil that softens cuticles and cares for dry, brittle nails. That might help with me. How it works. Natural essential oil complex with vitamin E, wheat germ, apricot kernel, aloe, and panthenol moisturizes and conditions cuticles while increasing nail flexibility. The results soft healthy looking cuticles and smoother nails brush onto nails and cuticles nightly massage and wash off before applying nail color okay i'm hoping this does what i need it to do like i need it to help maybe like reduce my cuticles because yeah right now i still have like i don't have that white moon well i do have it on the end of my nails right now but i don't have it at the top i have a little little bit um, on here, like a little, little bit right there. It's hard to tell, but I can see it here in person. You can't see it on camera. And the last thing I bought, and it's just to go into the shower, is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Shine Control Facial Cleanser with Bursting Beads Technology. Wakes you up with lemongrass and fruit extracts, oil free. This is going to be, this is going to be staying in my shower because sometimes it's very rare, but sometimes I do. I have to have a shower in the morning. So I do have the, excuse me, specific night relaxing facial cleanser, which I use practically all the time. Like every other night I'm using it, but sometimes like I don't want to have to bring in the, um, the face wash or like I'm moving away from the facial cleansers in the morning because I just want to scrub that stuff off. I'm gonna I don't have to keep bringing it into the shower and stuff so this is going to stay in the shower. This is this purpose for this is. And strangely enough in the shower I find that the facial cleansers foam a lot more than they do when you know I'm just over the sink washing my face with this so. I. As rare as I do have showered in the morning, this I probably won't have to buy till like maybe the end of the year, depending on like how many times I actually have a shower in the morning. So very convenient and you know, saving money practically. Never, I don't know. But I am getting starting to get low on my, the nighttime ones. So probably for my November shopping, I will need to get that. But yeah, that is the end of this mini haul unboxing and such video. So I'm going to get watching the stuff, the vid, I have two videos from the library. One of them was act is, one of them is Game of Thrones season four. Yes, so we will have another, we will have the next installment of my Game of Thrones watching time video set I, for some reason I'm doing. Don't know why, but anyway. I'm only watching this to watch the dragons. I love the dragons. The dragons are practically my favorite thing. So apparently, if my boyfriend tells me correct, the uh, the red dragon, like the red black dragon, gets very mean. And apparently, it's like growing a lot faster and quicklier than the other two. Apparent, I think, like with this attitude that I apparently believe it has, it's in like its teenage years, where it's like being very defiant of its parents and 
all that sort of stuff. So this should be interesting. So I'm going to get going. I got to get going because I need to get my books done. I need to get some semblance of life back in my room. I need a break. I need a break so badly. Like I am so freaking sore. I need a sleep in day. So yeah. Like this video if you liked anything you saw. And like, yeah, you can tell me how well this works if you use this Sally Hansen vitamin E thing, oil and tell me if it works. Cause like I saw a nail group, like a nail guru person, like all she does is like nail stuff. And she used that and used like a cuticle pusher to push her nails up. Let me know if this is good. Um, if you've used these, let me know both like in the comments below if you like that stuff if maybe it's not the best thing like don't tell me not to use it because you don't know my body type and like we're all like very all of us are very different we may have like some of the same parts but our dna and our structure and all that lovely stuff regarding our body like when you get really really down to it we're all very different so, like, you can tell me if you liked it or not, but I still have to try it out for myself to see if it's it's going to be nice on my body and such. Like, you know, tell me what you like, if you liked the results you got from yours, if you did not like the results you got, and all that stuff, just to keep me informed of good or not, whatever. You know, like the video if you like seeing me. And if you're new to watching this, subscribe for more hauls more unboxing unbaggings, more book reviews, and the occasional monthly favorites that I do. I'm hopefully going to be doing that video soon. I hope maybe this week, because like maybe even this weekend, because Manny is working this weekend and I don't have to. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. I hope you all have a wonderful time after watching this video and such. <laughs> all right, bye everyone.